Hey there, Allison with EverydayShortcuts.com. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to build a she shed. This is the one that we currently built and I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how you can build yours too. Before you start building your shed, you first wanna come up with a plan. Create your design on paper Check with your area to make sure if you need a permit, um, inspection, anything with HOA before you get started. Then you want to figure out the size. Here we are building a 10 by 12 shed and then you can start constructing the foundation for the shed. Ours required plastic sheeting and gravel to lay down underneath, but every city is different. We decided to raise it, raise it up a bit to keep the critters out and um, use these blocks to do so. And there's several ways that you can build a foundation for a shed. The easiest way is to make a platform, but some do a concrete slab as well. Next, you want to frame walls with planned openings for doors and windows. Once you get your walls built, you can go ahead and install them on each side. Once you get each wall installed, you can go ahead and connect them all together. After you have your walls built for your shed, you want to go ahead and install your roof trusses and roof sheeting. Side the entire shed with shed siding. We use drywall screws to put up the shed siding and you want to cut out openings for any doors and windows.
Next, install your drip edge, underlayment, and shingles. Cut the hole in the ridge for the ridge cap. Install the windows, door, and trim outside. Once the shed is assembled and caulked, you can now paint the exterior to the color you desire. Make sure to use exterior paint so it lasts through all seasons and any weather. Now that you are dried in, you can start on the interior. Okay, so we just finished painting the outside, got all the trim done, painted it all the way around. That, and then once you get that done, then you need to paint the front door. So I went ahead and spray painted the front door black. I think I'm gonna do like a black and white theme just something kind of clean and looks good and then I can add some color to like the front door if I want like a colorful reef or reef or something like that but we are just letting this dry before we put this back on and hopefully here soon we can start adding the details inside So finally, after three months of waiting on permits and inspections, we got the okay to go ahead and finish it. So you've seen my previous video of us building it. Well, not us, I guess I should say my husband and my son. Um, now the inside needs to be completed. So they are gonna be working on that and I'm gonna share the process with you. So as we go inside, um, we have an air conditioner in here so far. I still need to get a heating element. I know it's kind of loud. Hopefully we can 
fix that. I guess it went off right now, it's not so loud. Um, but it's keeping it nice and cool in here. And my husband has done the window sills so far for all the windows. And he just went and got stuff for electrical. It looks like he put up some of the boxes already where he's gonna have them. We're gonna have them pretty much on every wall. Um, my idea is to do like maybe a coffee station over here. Um, not really sure what I'm gonna put over here. I thought maybe like a cabinet or something to store stuff. And then I'm gonna do like my photos and stuff over here. And then I wanna have my desk like right here in front um, so I can look out the window. So we're gonna do that. And then here's another box here for the light switches. Um, but yeah, he went and got insulation. I'm not sure what else, he's not back yet. Um, we need to get drywall and stuff, but I'm gonna take you along this journey and how we finish, or how he finishes the inside of the she shed slash office. Okay, so today they worked on installing the wires for the electric. Um, in insulation, it looks like they still need a roll of insulation. They have a couple pieces, doesn't have any, but they got the insulation all the way around and then even on the ceiling. So this is a good day one to get started. I think they said they're going to work on a little bit more in here. Um, they also installed an outdoor light um, that I could turn on. Let me show you that. So here they have the outdoor light um, so I can see at night. So yep, this is it for right now and then I'll update you more on what else they're doing. Next, it's time to dig for the electric. So, you have to dig all the way up to the house and then to the shed. And then they'll put the electric wires through there and feed it through the house and then go ahead and bury them. Okay, as you can see, the electric has been buried all the way down to the shed and then in here we have the electric box it's all set up and my husband made sure everything was nice and safe so he's taking his time and doing it right but everything is now insulated except for that part right there which will be done here in a minute and then uh, we should be next to do drywall hopefully Okay, here's the inside of the box. He used a 100 amp box, but inside it's only a 30 amp. Um, but he has the cords running all the way up to the house and we will wire that also. Well, he will, not me. Okay, so yesterday we went ahead and picked up the drywall to do the inside of the she shed. We got this one wall done over here um, and then we did the ceiling and let me tell you, if you're going to do a ceiling with these large sheets, you're going to need a lot of help. There was three of us doing this and it was still extremely hard. Um, I just do not recommend it. I myself would have cut them in half, but my husband didn't want to do the extra work of taping and putting, um, the compound stuff on it. So. This is how it went, and we got wires for the lights. Um, we still need to finish the rest of these uh, walls in here, and hopefully it should be done like within a week after like waiting for everything to dry and to paint and then do the flooring and then moving everything in. I'm hoping like a week or two, um, but yeah, I will keep you updated, so that is what we have so far. 
So here is where we are at with the she shed slash office. The drywall has all been put up and now it's just a matter of sealing in the corners. So to do so you have to let one corner dry um, and then once that's done you can move on to the next corner because you don't really want to tear into the other corner. So that is what we're waiting on and once that dries which will probably be tomorrow then my husband will be able to finish the rest and then hopefully it is smooth sailing after that um, with painting putting in light fixtures doing the floor and then furnishing it okay so after the drywall was installed went ahead and got all the cracks sealed together and everything i'm not sure what it's called i think it's like joint compound in the tape anyways that's all done it's been painted the ceiling's been painted and two lights were installed these are i guess they're kind of like shop lights they have like um three different uh, switches I don't know like daytime light um, bright light and something else I'm not sure I'll have to find them and link them but they are nice and bright in here and then the trim was installed and this is where it got a little bit tricky because this corner piece right here um, couldn't really do a piece of trim just because the way it was set up so that's gonna be all like sealed and like caulked in um, so there's no holes there but all the trim around the windows are installed just need to go ahead and fill in all those cracks and get all the dust off the windows from sanding the drywall and then the floor is in and we just used like a laminate floor. I mean, nothing too expensive or anything. Um, this one was cheaper, like a dollar cheaper than the one I was gonna go with. Um, and I like the way it is. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy in here um, because this is just gonna be like a workspace. And next we are working on the trim, going around. And everything needs to be cleaned off because it is pretty dusty in here. Um, also, we have a baseboard heating in here. Uh, we decided that it was best to have it over here because the wattage that we had was not wired correctly. Um, so we had to kind of change that around, but I think this will work best over here because I'm gonna have my desk right here in this corner. And I think that it will be nice and warm in this little area where I'm going to be working. And the air conditioner is running now because it is 90 degrees out right now and it's nice and cool in here. But everything's coming along good. Still have a few more updates to do. And then hopefully we'll be able to start furnishing it.